the buffet capital of the world, guys, Las Vegas. And guess where we are today? We're outside Caesar's Palace, everybody. Caesar's Palace. It has been long requested that I come to the Bacchanal Buffet. I should say back to the Bacchanal Buffet. Technically, I was here like super short period of time a couple of years ago. But we are back, guys, for the biggest, the best buffet apparently in the world, and at least in all of Las Vegas. So pretty much, we're gonna head in and have some fun with friends here. Let's see all they have. This is, of course, post-COVID. That being said, apparently there's some changes. Apparently there's some new things, just like me. Look at me, I got a clean face. I haven't looked like this in years. But anyway, let's head on in, let's have fun, let's eat food. Let's get rocking. All right, to start, we have some steamed crab legs. We have some barbecue oysters. We have a lobster bisque. We have a tumor grilled baby octopus. That sounds pretty good. We have a spicy seafood boil. That looks good right there, I like that. Obviously, we have the butter on tap. We have everything from mussels. We have Jonah crab claws. We have Cortez clams. Feel free to hop in it in front of me anytime you want to. We have Dungeness crab, a sweet shrimp cocktail, snow crab legs. Ooh, I do love me some snow crab. And here we have Cajun poached prawns. We have a sea snail like a conch. We have lobster claws. I do like me some claws. We have a variety of mignonettes, ramelades, cocktail sauce, atomic horseradish. I do like horseradish. And here we have some displays. So that's the seafood section. Woo! So the start of this uh, carving section, we do have a whole roast turkey. We have dar barbecue duck wings. We have a truffle roasted chicken. I do like truffle. We have sweet peppers, cauliflower, and broccoli. It's a purple cauliflower, actually. That looks good. We have a smoked fish potato salad. We have a spicy watermelon salad. We have a Texas caviar salad. I do like those bean dishes. We have some lamb T-bones. We have some little Nashville uh, fish collars. This is the carving station. This is what people really love. We have the smoked brisket. We have the beef steamship, basically a big beef roast. We have a prime rib. We have a tri-tip, which looks amazing. They're definitely coming back to this section. Um, barbecue sauce, au jus, basically the exact same right here. In addition, we have, excuse me, some slab bacon. We also have a honey glazed ham, which looks awesome. Awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, just look at that. Look at that meat. Sorry, my friend, I'm getting a full that which looks awesome. Just look at beautiful, beautiful piece of meat, guys. Then we have the kielbasa, we have chicken wings, we have truffle mashed potatoes, we have lobster mac and cheese, we have cream kale, we have uh, asparagus, a whole bunch of stuff. We have some southern roasted corn. We have some corn chowder. We have some barbecue train wreck fries. So that's the meat section. Here we have the start of the more uh, Hispanic and Mexican. We have some lentils, uh, uh, mushrooms, some quinoa. We have a ceviche with uh, octopus, popo. I do like ceviche. We have a ceviche campuchino, which is like shrimp, shrimp cocktail, uh, which looks great. We have a pozole. That looks good. We have some Yucatan rice. We have some frioles. We have a roasted chicken. Here we have the famous made to order taco station with a birria. Looks great, birria, queso con birria. And we have a carnitas with duck. We have chicken enchilada, we have a chili tornadoes. Looks good, I love peppers. We have churros, we have an al pastor taco. Continuing over into, we have some uh, fresh waters here, um, like pepino, lemon agua, citrus, peach mango. We have some little uh, duros, we have some corn chips, some chicharrones. That's the Mexican station. Here we have some more just kind of like, I don't know if it's Italian, but like chicken pitas. We have a uh, rockfish, that looks really good, pan seared. We have some soups. We have some pork shanks and potatoes. We have all this stuff. Here we have the pizza section. So I guess you build your own pizza or get the big one to go. We have garlic breads, we have meatballs, we have all the different pizzas, we have salads, we have, uh, again, some more Mediterranean section, baba ganoush, we have a beet hummus, we have a lebna, uh, we have falafels, we have different kinds of salads, everything from like radishes to olives, to feta cheeses to breads. Here we have massive charcuterie, that looks amazing exquisite cheeses. Here we have a variety of nuts and fruits, uh, exquisite selection of cured meat. Here we have corn muffins. This is the bread section. We have pumpernickel breads, pretzel breads, 
We have uh, all this stuff here, like, oh, that is a tomato and basil tartare. We have a whipped burrata. I heard that was really good. We have Bloody Mary devil eggs, Cajun. Here we have some more kind of mixed salads. I do love me some pickled vegetables. I'm gonna come back for that. Uh, cilantro, habanero, or uh, jalapenos, uh, dried pork, everything. This is a more uh, Asian section over here, guys. We have a lechon with a dipping sauce. We have a Chinese roasted pork belly, which looks awesome also. We have everything from some uh, Filipino pork skewers. We have some Vietnamese sea sail snails, so kind of like the uh, conch. We have a box salmon sushi. We have a uh, onigi, this is basically a rice sushi. We have a nigiri, we have a couple other su uh, sushis here. We have some poke, I'm excited to try the poke. Uh, that is a rainbow poke. We have a creamy salmon poke, an ahi tuna poke, a citrus a taco poke, which is octopus. We have some uh, edamames. We over here have some rice dishes. We have some Korean chicken wings. It looks really good. We have some Japanese uh, noodle, or Korean glass noodles. We have a whole bunch of dim sum here, which are like Wagyu hot dogs, shumai, which is pork and shrimp really good. We have shiitake things. We have barbecue pork buns. And then we have all these smoked char su pork ribs. That looks amazing. I love pork ribs. We have some carved roasted duck, which looks amazing. We have Kung Pao chicken blue chili crab, uh, beef and broccoli, bang bang shrimp, guys, we have everything. And besides dessert, that is it. And last but not least, we have the dessert section. We have a fruity pebble panna cotta. That sounds really good. We have a Nutella brownie. We have a peanut butter and pretzel jelly. Guys, I have a feeling we're not gonna bring for dessert. We have a green tea cheesecake, pineapple, lime, tapioca. We have a lemon meringue tart. We have a ube chiffon cake, that looks great. No sugar added black forest cake. No sugar added cheesecake, that's interesting. We then have a pineapple upside down cake. We have a chocolate lava cake. We have a cinnamon roll bread pudding. Wow, that just sounds amazing. Egg tart, we have some Mexican wedding cookies. We then over here have some fixings for your gelato, an extensive selection of very delicious looking gelatos, every kind of flavor imaginable. Then we have some cakes, some vanilla Foster's pie. I remember that thing being good, creme brulee, berry cheesecake, tarts, and cupcakes, crazy looking cupcakes, including a salted caramel cupcake, a s'mores bar. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know how we're going to even make it through half of this stuff. Banana Fosters, mixed berries, they're doing crepes. We have apples, uh, we have macarons. Guys, crazy. Everybody, so got a couple plates. Uh, there's like endless stuff. I'm gonna kind of go through it section by section, see what's interest prob uh, interesting probably. So start, I kind of went through the Asian section, which really caught my eyes, the char siu pork rib. Uh, char siu pork rib, we also then have the kung pao chicken. Both items I actually really, really, really enjoy. Um, then in the salad section, I got me some of that lovely looking pickled uh, kind of vegetable salad. I love pickled vegetables. I got me a lovely cauliflower looking uh, salad that has a tahini dressing. And then I got this other salad, which is really interesting, apricots and a cheese dressing. Yes, cheese dressing, kind of different. Then I went, got some crab legs, of course, guys, hard to go wrong. Got me to give me one with a great big fat knuckle. And then I got a octopus. I like the octopus. I just prefer the recommendation from our friend. Very good. Oily, a little bit of a kind of curry, human on that. Well, and that, let's get started. So I'm absolutely pumped. We're just gonna eat, I'm gonna go from here. I'll show you what we have. And like I said, section by section. Let's eat all the food. All right, I'm gonna try this uh, pickled vegetable salad, guys. This is one of my favorite things. I love pickled vegetables, I love vegetables in general. exactly what you'd expect. So now one thing I'll say, a lot of people are probably like, why are you filling up on vegetables? This is a bacchanal, look at all the items they have. And I agree. I'm not gonna get too many vegetables today, but I love vegetables. You should eat your vegetables, kids. I love the cherry tomatoes in it. And it has a little bit of spice to it. With some bacchini peppers and all that stuff. 
try this cauliflower salad. Mm. I definitely marinated it. It's a little softer, or maybe it's part cooked. It's very sweet too. I don't get any tahini though. And then the apricot and pecan salad with cheese dressing. Definitely blue cheese. Not bad. You gotta like blue cheese for that. Try the Kung Pao chicken. I mean, the Kung Pao chicken is not bad. It's definitely more of a traditional Chinese than like Americanized Chinese, but it's not worth right home about. Try this char siu rib. Mmm. Really get that kind of five spice, a nice anise. Barbecue flavor. Not bad. All right, let's get into some of this crab. They do split them, split the claws and everything, so it should be pretty easy eating. Definitely, I figure we're just gonna dive right in. I'll probably be covered in seafood by the end of this, but these are the steamed ones. They have cold, this is the hot. I'm all about the warm seafood myself. Mm. Yeah, I mean, obviously they have butter and stuff up there. Not bad for snow crab. Pretty meaty pieces. And of course they're endless. So I mean, there's people that sit here and just pick crab all day. Well, it's not oh, really easy coming out though. Hopefully some of the other ones are a little... Nope, not quite. Hopefully get some that pull right out. I will say though, crab is a lot of work for the meat you get. I think generally I prefer lobster. And the crab is... Not really coming out that easy. I don't know if that means it's overcooked, undercooked. You guys can let me know down below. But you really gotta. There we go. That's the first. That's the first real big piece. And still won't pull out. But like I said, it is endless. If you want to pick a crab all day, you can come here and pick a crab all day. All right, next we're having a bit more fun. So I got some meats, guys, the carving section. That's where I really wanted to go. So I have the prime rib. I also got myself a beef rib, which looks not bad. And um, we got myself some brisket. Not gonna lie, it looks uh, a little iffy about it. I got some of the steam ship, which is just like a big beef roast. And then I got some salt. They have a really nice uh, kind of crystalline salt. I also got some barbecue sauce. And then over here from the kind of Hispanic section, I have some of the shrimp cocktail. I got a jicama citrus salad. And then I have the ceviche with pulpo. And then we have some of the truffle chicken. And I also got some of the curry carrots and the broccoli and per uh, purple cauliflower salad. I'm excited. Uh, let's try the uh, curry carrot first. Nice sweet carrot, very firm. Extra al dente. Definitely a curry flavor. It is quite sweet. Incredibly oily. Incredibly rich. Like I'm pooling here of oil. It wasn't so oily, it would have been a little nicer. Mm. Purple cauliflower. And let's try this one. I almost get an Asian style like beef and broccoli from it. Mm. Definitely. That's the flavor. Layer beef and broccoli. It's good though. Let's try this jicama citrus salad. Jicama, I'm not familiar, is like a root vegetable. Incredible amount of citrus on that. But I really like it. So crisp, it's very, very fresh, refreshing. That would be like an excellent palate cleanser. Try the uh, ceviche here, the cocktail. Mm. I love how much shrimp there is in it. There's a bit of lime, uh, lime for sure. It's surprisingly mild on like the Komodo level though. Not spicy. I even go to stay very little salt in it. Different. It's okay. Pulp on ceviche salad. It's very traditional. It really is basically the seafood, the acid, the lime. A little bit of cilantro. Some scallops fish in there. Not bad. 
Next, let's try the truffle chicken. Mm. Not gonna lie, it's a little dry, but what I will say is I do get a little bit of truffle on there, but you mostly get like a rotisserie flavor. Not a star. Now we're on to the beef. I'm probably gonna start with this uh, steam ship. So basically it's just a roast beef. It does look good though. This is the one she offered salt with. But she's like, do you want salt on it? I was like, sure. Let's get a piece of this, this uh, steam ship. Again, more or less what I call just like a standard roast beef, not an overly noted cut. So let's give that a rock. Not bad. Try with a little salt on this piece. Very just like roast beef. It's really good at salt though, definitely. The salt is the addition. But it's definitely quality beef. I'm totally using a really nice cut. Because for the steam should be like that kind of moist and stuff, it is quite tender. Try this brisket. It looks okay. Let's give it a go. Brisket is one of my favorite foods. I'm trying the salt. All right, so the flavor's there. Pretty good smoke on it. But I don't know if it's just this piece I got. Maybe all of them, this piece is dry, to be honest with you. Nonetheless. Pretty good. Let's try this prime rib, guys. This is awesome. I'm just gonna put that straight in that salt. That looks delicious. Okay, that hits. Prime rib is the best beef so far. Super, super tender. Obviously really fatty, really rich. That addition of salt. I mean, that's a lot on there, but that does slap. That's pretty good. Try a little more of this. This is a little beef section. That prime rib is the best one so far. And Let's try this beef rib. This is just a side rib. They do have a little bit of sauce on it. Wow. So that's really tough. You see, how, look at this. Like shocking. Not a keeper. So I got some more items here. So I have some uh, poke. This is like hamachi tuna. I got a beet hummus. I got some of the bang bang shrimp. I heard this very, very good. I got some rockfish with capers. I did get a little kalbi rib, a kalbi Korean rib. Let's try it right now. Mm. Great flavor. Tender, nice and rich. Got some chili crab. They have the chili torpedoes, which are basically like fried peppers. Big, huge piece of prime rib. Also got a lamb T-bone. And I got the spicy watermelon salad to try. Mm. Very fresh. I like that, actually. Just a fried pepper. Mm. Big granules of salt in that, garlic. There we go. Roasted onion. Roasted garlic. Fried jalapeno. Actually, I like that a lot. Surprisingly good. But I mean, like, it's fried peppers. What do you expect? Try this poke. This looks great. I love the fish. A little sweetness from that kind of teriyaki eel sauce. Yeah, it's good. Let's try this bang bang shrimp. It's pretty good. Deep fried shrimp, super crispy. A little bit of sweetness, like a chili sauce. A lot of citrus. Wow. What a crunch. Surprisingly good. Pretty filling though. Let's try this rockfish. 
Lots of lemon. It is tender. The caper adds a nice, uh, nice bit to it. I think that caper is really important in that. I actually thought to get a little something, something to try in this hummus, but I have a radish here. Mm. Good flavors of tahini. I sure like that. Very fresh. I'm gonna get a pita for that though. All right. Chili crab, guys. This is another table favorite. So this is a messy one to get into. It is nice and sticky, covered in just that chili sauce. Definitely messy. Ooh, but let's get in that knuckle. Mm. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, that is the guys. Forget the other crab. Mm. And that knuckle I got. Loads of meat. Because it's blue crab. Shell's nice and soft. You can basically eat it. Mm. Okay, that is lovely. It is so sweet. Really nice oil to it. I would say it's not spicy. Great flavor. It is definitely a messy one though, that is for sure. Be prepared to wash your hands after that, but I'm trying to get a cracker and get into this claw here, but that's definitely a keeper. Try this lamb T-bone with the mushy peas. Mushy peas is a kind of a, you know, English or British thing, so I'm excited to try this. This was, came by popular recommendation. Mm. There's a bit like mint on it. It is good. It's definitely a very richer, gamier tasting lamb, kind of gamey. Some lamb I find is a little gamier than others. I'm trying some, some salt. I think this should be an item which will be a little bit more impressive if it was straight, like super hot. Which is kind of everything in a buffet, but I like it. It's good lamb. Next, dive into this massive piece of prime rib he gave me. The guy did not skimp, that is for sure. They will give you your fill of meat. I mean, that is like a half an inch thick. I mean, we already tried this, but that little bit of salt. Mm. Yes, please. You can see like the eye and then this cap. Guys, there's just insane marbling on this one. And just like beautiful piece of meat. Obviously the cap is a lot more cooked than the Oh man. Everybody, that is just money. But it is rich. They're using a high quality beef. Let me see what I can show you. Like you can just see the, all the marbling through that. Damn good, but man, like I said, that is a rich beef. Whoops, there goes my knife, but you don't need much of this one. Mm. Talk about savory. Yeah, yeah. Fall apart savory. Very good. We've been here for eh, probably about an hour and a half. Um, pretty much straight eating, uh, doing a little bit of talking. We had some nice, excellent, lovely people come out and say hello. Always appreciate that. Um, some lineups, uh, certain items like eating the seafood bar took forever to get seafood. The um, chopping block, where the meats are, that takes a while. But anyway, got some more items. Um, and so I will say I'm trying to like find some really items I'm vibing with. One thing I really do notice and I wish they had a little bit more of is like a, I don't want to say like traditional salad bar, but they really don't have like I well, showed you everything. They don't really have like a lot, a lot, a lot of like just kind of vegetable items. A lot of the vegetable items are like super rich, cooked, uh, you know, smothered in oil, smothered in dressing. So I'm, I feel like I need some veggies. I've had a lot of like really, really rich stuff, especially after all that prime rib, everything there. Delicious, but so rich. So I went for some seafood. It's a little lighter. Um, I got this, which is a cooked barbecued oyster. It does have a uh, some kind of a it was like, what was it, maple butter or something? It is definitely well cooked. Let's see if I can get that. Technical difficulties. On a bed of salt. Woo! Oyster's good. I love oysters. I also got a Jonah crab, just one. Got the little octopus like we had before. Then I got a conch. I've never had a conch before. You can try conch. I also got a lobster claw. They are only cold lobster here. And then I got a Cajun prawn. So, try this Jonah crab. And like, I just got a little bit because the thing with this, I was like, you can always get more. 
actually. So as far as crab goes, I like this Jonah crab better than the legs. Really nice flavor on it. A little bit more heavy of a crab flavor, if that makes sense. We had this baby octopus before. This one is a little oilier. Definitely try it again. That's one thing I find here. They're definitely dousing or putting on some heavy oil. Philly Bob. Man, that was good though. My first time having a conch, guys. Cold snail like this. And this is big, guys. This is like literally just pure meat. Look at all that. That is huge. Huge thing of meat. A little bit saltier. I'm going to dip into that salt. Give this a try. It's quite similar to like crab. It's probably the most comparable thing, crab. Got some horseradish. Tom of horseradish, they call it. Woo! That is spicy. Honestly, I have nasal napalm at home. That is equally as spicy as nasal napalm. There you go. Getting in that lobster claw. That's one thing. Oh, guys, look at that. That's a nice piece of meat right there. That's one thing I love about lobster. Give it a little bit of salt, just big pieces. Mm. Very good. Patricia Lucia is hot, but hard around with lobster. Like you said, Vegas is a lobster buffet. Let me know if I should go check that out. And that knuckle, too, guys. That's some good meat in there. Patricia Lucia is hot. Then the prawn. So now, again, this is a cold seafood item. But this, this is supposed to be Cajun. I'm like trying to not get my hands super messy, but there's just no way around it, guys. Mm, mm. Honestly, that is delicious. The Cajun flavors, definitely like Old Bay, just rain through. And I like that. I'm a big Old Bay person. I do have a little bit of cocktail sauce here. I'm gonna try some of that. Honestly, without the way to go. That shrimp's fire. I like it. Great flavor. I feel like you need a new napkin. But let's go see what else we find. Like I said, I need some vegetables. Something a little crisp, fresh. That was nice, wasn't as rich. But let's go see what else they have. Everyone, I don't know how I forgot about the Hispanic section. Like, I don't, just totally slipped my mind. I don't know how. So I went and grabbed myself just a couple items. I'm definitely filling up. We have eaten a lot, a lot, a lot of food. Uh, but I have some uh, pozole, which is great. I myself have an El Pastor taco. We got some piña, some pineapple, some salsa verde on it. And then I also got a taco. This is all the kind of made-to-order tacos, the live action station, the Bidia. Bidia taco. I'll say, I'm cold in here. They have the AC blasting. I have my sweater, I'm about to throw that on. I'll start with the uh, El Pastor taco. So these are already pre-made, double tortilla. Looks all right. I'm trying to separate the, I can't separate the two tortillas. They're kind of blended. Give us a shot. I don't know, I'm just, I'll just give it a shot. It's very, very rich. Salsa verde has a nice bit of freshness. The pineapple on there is very, very key. Cilantro, it's not bad. I'm a big fan of you, Joel. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Victor. Next, let's try this pozole. So I put a little bit of oregano on here, put some chili peppers on it. I do love pozole, great kind of classic. Got some maize in there. Mm. Guys, I love pozole. This is a hot hominy, hominy is what they call the corn or whatever. That oregano, that chili. I don't know what it tastes like without those, but so rich. That's a keeper. I'm a big, big, big pozole fan. It does not disappoint. Now the video taco. There's some cilantro, onions. I think they had some more salsas up there, but I didn't grab any, but give this a shot. Definitely be rich, rich beef. And then just dip that tortilla in the oil as well. Mm. Oh. Woo! All right, very good. Incredible richness. Super moist, just absolutely dripping. That's a keeper too. All right, so I may have went totally overboard on this plate, but I kind of, I kind of, revisited the vegetables slash I told you I was desiring vegetables and I kind of found some so super pumped about that I have some uh, both a, a couple of peppers a roasted non roasted pepper I got some more of that lovely kind of pickle salad we had at the beginning I got a Filipino pork skewer 
So I'm just going to try right now. Mm. Ooh, great flavor. I mean, it's rich, but nice and sweet. Kind of sweet barbecue. I like that a lot. I also got the uh, kind of some, I think it's pickled radish. Pickled radish. I got a piece of the Chinese pork, uh, pork belly to try the pork belly. And then I also got a pie of salad. Lots and lots of what's that pie of salad. So this looks real good. Try this roasted Chinese pork belly. Mm. Very traditional. Tastes like five spice. All of the kind of Chinese items I've had here, they're very like traditional Chinese, not like Americanized, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited to try this papaya salad. Mm. Lots of mint. Ooh. That bite had a little bit of like pepper in it. Very good. Mm. That's what I need on some citrus. Ooh. Talk about refreshing. I'm definitely a big papaya salad person. It's not like the sweet um, red orange papayas, but it's a green papaya, so it's kind of bitter. Mm. Yes. You have the break of that richness of all the meats. I think all along, I shared some items like this, along with the other plates. Oh man, those pickled vegetables hit the spot. This was up by the uh, Filipino pork skewers. This is a roasted pepper. You know, I thought it was just a bell pepper. That's spicy. Woo! Picante, real spicy. I'm surprised. Got a raw pepper up there too. I thought it was just a bell pepper, but maybe it's spicy too. I can't tell. Yeah, this one's spicy too. Also got some iced tea. I'm gonna be up all night. I've drank probably literally 10 diet Pepsis. I'm gonna dig in this. And then really, we kind of hit up most of the sections. It is impossible to try everything. But I really did try to try a lot of the items instead of just going on one item like I normally would about that. Really, the only items I think got twice was this salad and the prime rib. Maybe we'll give the brisket one more chance because I usually love brisket. And then let's look at the desserts. But I'll tell you what, pretty dang full. And believe it or not, I'm not really in a dessert mood. But I mean, while we're here, Better give them a shot. I mean, we're here, we gotta try it. So I got a number of desserts. I have the cinnamon bun bread pudding, guys. That looks just like money. It looks pure sugary, delicious. I did try the sugar-free blueberry cheesecake. I have the ube chiffon cake. I have the peanut butter pretzel pudding jelly thing. I got what they call the Nutella brownie, which then the description is not like an actual baked brownie. It's like a pudding. I got the s'mores bar, which looks amazing. And then I got a Fruity Pebbles Panna Cotta, very, very interesting. And one little piece of pineapple. Mm -hmm. Woo, that was sweet, delicious. Let's try, well, let's probably start with what's gonna be the least sweet. Let's try this little blueberry sugar-free cheesecake. Mm. Not bad, actually not bad, not bad. The flavor took them in to grow on me, but you do get that really nice kind of cream cheese. Definitely not overly sweet, but I like it. Next, probably try this ube chiffon cake. This is really nice, got a little edible flour on it. Looks nice and delicate. Look at that, guys. Got a lovely creamy layer, and then on the bottom, we actually do have some actual cake. Mm. Oh, yes. That top layer. Mm. Kind of those lovely notes of almost like Caramel, really rich. Actually, I'm surprised. Normally, I don't really like cakes, but that's what it looks like. That's not bad. Peanut butter and pretzel pudding, jelly, whatever they call it. Kind of interesting. Get a little bit of jelly at the bottom. Cut some bits on top, go all the way down. Wow. So it's almost like a, I mean, I guess it's pretzel, 
but I almost got like a honey roasted peanut on top. Mm. Woo! Man, a little bit of jelly underneath, super rich peanut, kind of foam, cream. That's good. That's just surprisingly good. Try this Nutella brownie. Again, I don't think it's like a baked brownie on the bottom. No, it's definitely a kind of cream all the way through. So kind of like a three-layer cream. Ooh, that looks, uh, looks good. Looks good, actually. Give that a shot. Woo! So the super rich icing on top. I'm not gonna lie. I don't get any Nutella. I just get like chocolate. I feel like I'm eating chocolate icing. Nah. This is, I think, a little gold haze on the on top. Maybe that's the Nutella aspect. Free Pebble Panna Cotta. Not sure what to expect with this, but I do like Free Pebbles. I like Panna Cottas. Mm. Okay. So, Fruity Pebbles is not how I describe it. Oddly enough, I almost get like a bubblegum ice cream flavor from that. Yeah, it's more like bubblegum panna cotta. Different. It has a little s'more bar, which looks excellent. We got chocolate icing, marshmallows, graham cracker, chocolate. All the chocolate. Oh my gosh, guys, that is ooey gooey marshmallow goodness. I have high hopes for this one. Good. Ooh. Ooh, is that built? But surprisingly, it's not that sweet. Oh, that'd be real sweet. That's one of the least sweet desserts. But this one's gonna be sweet. Let's try this cinnamon bun bread pudding, guys. Just, that is, oh my gosh, just, that is pure succulent. Basically honey bun soaked in just sugary goodness. Look at that. Just give that a bite. Oh my God. Wow. Talk about wow. Try another bite of that. Oh my God. All right. That is definitely the best dessert. I'm trying to get some of the inside, more cinnamony bits, more of this little. Oh my gosh, that buttery syrup outside. All right, this is a keeper. It's so drippy, it's so sweet. On the bottom, they do have kind of more like the egg aspect of the bread pudding. So I'm gonna try to grab a little bit of that from the bottom. Yeah, woo. Sweet, creamy. Now that, that is the, that is right there. I'm trying to get some of that, all that, all that cinnamon action. Look at that, look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, hands down, that's the best dessert right there. And this is actually going to be it. I have had so much, so I'm very, very full. And, and you know, plus like, you know, there's a couple things I vibed with, you know, pretty good. Um, but, you know, there isn't too many items that I had and I was like, wow, but, some that was, I think probably my favorite item so far was the prime rib, but I had like the first massive piece, that second massive piece was like, it was huge, 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 huge. So I'd probably, that's probably about a pound, let's be honest. Anyway, so I got some brisket, guys. I told you I'd try it again. And this is, if it's gonna be good, it's gonna be this piece right here. I got it right an end piece, right in the, like the big fatty portion. I specifically said, hey man, cut me off that piece. It is super juicy, super fatty. If it's going to be best, if it's going to have flavor, it's going to be that piece right there, guys. I got some of the uh, jicama salad, some more jicama salad. I got some papaya salad. I got another uh, poke. I did enjoy that earlier. I looked at the, the sushis and I don't know, just the, the rolls just weren't really appealing to me, but this was really good. Then I got some more pickled salad and some more uh, kind of peppers there. I do like the poke. All right, I'm gonna try this. Little, well, we already had this. Pick them out, cilantro. 
love the citrus in that. And the onion and the cilantro. I like cilantro. Let me know if you like cilantro down below. All right, though, my palate is cleansed. It is ready to absorb this crazy, fatty richness of this brisket. This is gonna be nuts. Guys, this one where it's the first piece looks super dry, this looks the honest opposite. This looks like super moist. Thank you, my friend. See, this is just nuts. Look at that. Is that this is going to be good. This could be this bite right here. Now, I'll try a little bite without the salt. I'm gonna throw the salt, and that's gonna take the whole of it over. We have the nice bark on this. Now or never, guys. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what I need in my life, guys. Great bark. You get like a nice bit of paprika, even some salt, a little bit of garlic. Guys, throwing on that salt in that beautiful fatty succulent piece. Thank you. Woo! Lucky you put that iced tea down on the table. I think I went to a whole other reality. That brisket redeemed itself. The first one was not even edible. The second one, really good. The brisket, if you want to be good brisket, you gotta get that fatty portion, fresh off the side, whatever it is. That was delicious. So rich though, oh my gosh. Damn good. Little you know, spicy peppers. Yeah, these things are hot. Woo, Bacchanal, guys. The best way I'd put the Bacchanal, it really is an experience. So you come here just for the mass amount of diversity. I mean, no matter what kind of cuisine you want, pretty much you can find it here. I mean, they have Italian, they have like Pan-Asian, like different types of Asian, Mediterranean seafood, carbon station, Hispanic, desserts. They really do pretty much of everything. So that's what you're coming for. You're coming with like, what, 500 items or whatever it is. The option to have like everything you could ever want or imagine in one spot. My favorite items of the day were the prime rib and the second piece of brisket. But if I had to pick one, I'd go with the prime rib. One, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look how fatty. I don't know if you can tell on here how rich and fatty that knife is just from cutting that brisket. That is kind of the one common theme I found today. All the items, even that like, I wouldn't expect to be overly rich, were incredibly rich. Lots of oil used, but I do that to fill you up. That's kind of that. The only thing I think could really make this experience better, probably if there was a bit more of like a normal salad bar section, I would like that. A bit more just like fresh vegetable, but most things work. Yeah. Huge thanks to our friends, Mr. Harold, Dan for making it happen. This was a hell of an experience. Let me know if you like this video down below, and maybe we'll do something again. Yeah, this is the Bacchanal. This is supposed to be the world's best buffet. This is Las Vegas' biggest buffet. Very diverse. You let me know what you think down below. I've talked a lot. Overall, cool experience. Not too many items that really, really stood out, but was very enjoyable. So that's it, everybody. Till next time. Ooh, something I had, I just like licked my knife or fork. I got some nice seafood flavors. That oyster was really good. Those octopus were really good. I mean, the seafood section was pretty dang good too, let's be honest. But that everyone. Till next time, of course, you're happy, you're hungry, happy eating. Las Vegas, you're an animal. And that everybody, till next time. Have a lovely day. morning it was raining last night so i didn't give my final thoughts outside the bacchanal outside caesar's plus this way let's just say i could literally digest you know what i mean and sit on think on everything so this is the final verdict of the bacchanal so for the price which was about uh what was about 75 80 let's say 75 75 80 us 
I did find myself again kind of like being quite critical. I, you know, I was expecting that next level experience. I think overall my experience and pretty much everybody else there, we met lots of different friends. I was there with friends, everybody agreed. It's like most things there are good, but there's very few items which like really stand out or are exceptional, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and even say, I think I have had, again, this is noting that, uh, admittingly, again, I've, I'm being obviously a little more critical based on the price, but I think I've probably went to a like $15 buffet before and probably had just as much enjoyment. Now, obviously that being said, the foods were different. At my $15 buffet, you know, I likely was not getting cold lobster claws, and I likely, well, I definitely did not have the spread or the variety. But, you know, for that $75 price tag, I think it does kind of, you know, give you a bit of perspective. But objectively speaking, again, there was a lot of items that were good, but very few items really stood out and elevated it. Um, definitely the ones that stood out for me uh, when it came to just roll off the top of my head. Desserts, we had the cinnamon bun bread pudding that was elevated. When it came to the meats, definitely the prime rib, that one was really elevated with that little bit of salt. And the second round of brisket we had, that was elevated. Besides that, the only like real items that I'd say were like not good was we had that one beef rib, which was literally unedible. It was just like rocks. Um, besides that, everything was solid. One thing I will say, and I did notice, is they definitely have every single item there with the exception of like the crab legs, I guess, but they expect you to add butter. All the items are so rich. And I think that's how they really fill you up. And I kind of commented on, you know, they, I noticed like there wasn't a lot of like, just like kind of like plain like foods and or plain salad bar items. And maybe that's why, maybe that's part of their theme or their, you know, idea to fill you up. Everything was rich. You wanted vegetables, they were incredibly oily, incredibly rich. And that's generally what fills you up, either fiber or fat, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, lots of richness, very good. I did enjoy it. You definitely go for the variety. You go for the experience. But admittingly, the Bacchanal, I don't think it's a place that I would be dying to go back to next time I'm in Vegas. But Bacchanal, if you want to change my mind, hey, hook it up. You hook it up, come back and visit. But yeah, guys, like I said, overall, cool spot. Huge thanks to our friend Harold and his son. And uh, that's that, guys. Those final thoughts. Bacchanal, it's a cool experience. If you're going, expect to wait one to two hours in line and expect things to be good. You're going for a mm, exquisite variety of good items with some items which stand out, if that makes sense. Most people go to eat seafood and crab legs. So that's about that, guys. We were there about two hours. And uh, yeah, till next time. Buck it out. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.